Have you ever wondered how a period of seemingly sudden cultural awakening could shape the course of human history? Today, we journey back to a time of grandeur, intellect and transformation known as the Renaissance. The Renaissance, a term derived from the French word for rebirth, began in the 14th century in the city-states of Italy, particularly Florence. The fall of Constantinople in 1453, which led to an exodus of Greek scholars and texts to Italy, further ignited this cultural revolution. In the heart of Florence, the Medici family, known as the Godfathers of the Renaissance, became patrons of the arts and sciences. Their support enabled artists and intellectuals to flourish and create works that remain iconic to this day. Among these figures was Leonardo da Vinci, a polymath who epitomized the Renaissance man. His insatiable curiosity led him to create masterpieces like the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. His studies of anatomy and mechanics, recorded in detailed sketches, were centuries ahead of their time. Michelangelo, another titan of the Renaissance, was a sculptor, painter, architect, and poet. His works, such as the Statue of David and the Ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, showcase the beauty of human form and the grandeur of biblical narratives. The Renaissance was not confined to the arts, the era saw an explosion of knowledge in various fields. Nicolas Copernicus proposed a heliocentric model of the universe, challenging the Church's geocentric view. Galileo Galilei, the father of modern observational astronomy, further supported this model, setting the stage for the scientific revolution. In literature, William Shakespeare penned timeless plays and sonnets that continue to captivate audiences worldwide. His works, filled with complex characters and profound themes are considered some of the finest in English literature. The Renaissance also saw the invention of the Gutenberg printing press around 1450. This innovation democratized knowledge, making books affordable and accessible to the masses for the first time. As we conclude this journey through the Renaissance, let's recap the key points. We started in the 14th century Italy, where the Renaissance began, fueled by the fall of Constantinople. We met influential figures like Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Copernicus, and Shakespeare, who left indelible marks on art, science, and literature. We also explored the pivotal role of the Gutenberg printing press in disseminating knowledge. The Renaissance was a vibrant period of intellectual curiosity and cultural rebirth. Its influence permeates our modern world, from the art we admire, the literature we read, to the scientific principles we hold. The echoes of the Renaissance continue to reverberate, reminding us of a time when humanity dared to question, create, and evolve. Voiceover. If you enjoyed this journey through the Renaissance, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more enlightening content. Our exploration doesn't have to end here, as the spirit of the Renaissance lives within us all. It's in our curiosity, our creativity, and our courage to question the status quo. As we continue to learn from the past, let's also remember to apply the lessons of the Renaissance to our present and future. After all, the most significant legacy of the Renaissance isn't just in the art, literature, or scientific principles it gave us, but in the mindset it fostered, one that values knowledge, cherishes human potential, and dares to imagine a brighter tomorrow. So, let's keep the spirit of the Renaissance alive, keep questioning, keep creating, keep evolving, and most importantly, keep learning. Until our next journey, stay curious and stay inspired.